Please give me beer. What's the letter? Letter? Good day, guys. I've been studying in Korea for a year now and when I came back to the Netherlands a lot of people told me that I became Korean. Even when I was in Korea there were Korean people telling me I'm more Korean than they are. So I thought I'd put it to the test and test how Korean I actually am. For every question that I get wrong, I will eat one bowl of the fire noodles or bultak pokemon in one of my next videos. So yeah. <sighs> so I didn't pick these questions. Somebody cut them off the internet and I don't know put them together mix them together or line them up I don't know what she did and yeah let's get started yeah. first question let's go okay the first question is Hua, SES and Pinko are all A formal present D Korean pop singers C popular brand names D successful businesses Okay, they're not they're not former presidents and they're not businesses either. They're they're not brands. They are pop singers. I know that because Boa I know Boa, yeah. I know her for a long time. So yeah. B pop singers? Yeah. Okay, good. Okay. <laughs> <sighs> oh, I need to rem I need to remember the the, the, the 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 letters. Yeah, you should remember it. Okay. The second question is something preceded by Kun means a. Strange B. Boiled C. Bad D. Deep fried It's not bad mm. what, was, what was the first answer? A. is Strange So it's strange, boiled, or deep fried It's not strange and it's not bad So A and C are the question I don't think it's deep fried because usually I think that's like tikim sort of stuff. Is it boiled? Thank <laughs> It was D. Deep. deep fried. Well that's one Buddha Pokemon I have to eat. That's yeah. that's that's just that's absolutely great. Let's get let's just go to the next question. The third question is Oh my god. Gochu? <laughs> Is a slang term for A vagina? Kotsu? Yeah. B breast. C attractive females. D Venus. Yeah. You serious right now? You're you want me to tell you what the slang kotsu means? D, final answer. Uh, what? D what? The thing that guys have and the thing that girls don't have. <laughs> this is great banter. Okay. The fourth question is, if you are wearing hanbo, you are wearing A, shoes, B, underwear, C, traditional clothing, <laughs> D, no pants. Well, even even when you're wearing hanbok, I'm pretty sure you're still wearing underwear, but it's it's traditional clothes. It's what you wear for that one, right? Yeah. Right. Isn't isn't it where people get married in as well? Uh. At like a yeah, Korean wedding. In a traditional wedding. Oh, yeah. Okay, fair enough. Fifth question is: the Korean national flower is the. A. Tiger Lily B. They don't have a national flower C. Mugunghwa D. Tteokbokki <laughs> Okay, well, tteokbokki is a snack Yeah I didn't know they have a Korean, they had a traditional flower I don't think it's two because otherwise the question wouldn't be here mm. Um. Well, what, was the, what was the first and third answers? First? Was Tiger Lily. Tiger Lily, and the third one was. Again. Um, I'm gonna go with Wugongwa just because it sounds Korean. And Tiger Lily is just English. So yeah, C. You're right. You're right. I'm a G. The sixth 
대한독립 만세 This refers to A. July 30, 1974 B. December 11, 1979 C. March 1, 1919 D. April 27, 1940 I, I didn't know history questions was, were going to be in this quiz. Oh my god. Uh, is it, isn't that the cheering thing? The day of Mungo Manze? That's probably different. Okay, okay, that's probably very different. Never mind. Ignore that. I, I have no idea. I, I seriously have no idea. Oh, that's very bad. I should know this. I should have studied the history of Korea. Um, don't laugh. <laughs> uh, I'm going with D. Bang. It was C. It was March 1st, 1919. Okay, the seventh question is, if you get Dongchim, you're getting poked in the A. Dongchim? Yeah, Dongchim. That just sounds like poo. Anyway, continue. You get poked in the... A. Asshole. B. A. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I know that Dong means, means, means poo, so that sounds like the most logical answer. Although I, I would have been screwed if something later came out and it was the word poo, then I probably would have been confused, but okay. The next question is the easiest question, I think. The eighth question is, what is the name of the spicy pickled vegetable found at every meal? <laughs> A. Kimchi. Oh. Uh, that was not my answer. That was not my answer. Please continue. <laughs> that was not my answer. Please continue. A kimchi. B jjigae. C ku. D pop. Kimchi ji. Yeah, because. But but like kimchi can be in soups, right? So it's also fermented. Uh, okay, I'm probably saying some stupid stuff. Let's just move on to the next okay. question. <laughs> <laughs> the ninth question is. Is Please give me beer. What's the letter? Letter? Yeah. If I don't get the letter, I get a thing. Mm -hmm. Um. Okay. B. Thing. B was. Where is the bathroom? C was the correct answer. So I got it right, but I got it wrong. Mm hmm. Uh, anyway. That's great. Well, that's the third blue talk book I have to eat now. And that's not because I don't know stuff, it's because I'm just generally stupid. <sighs> Let's move on to the last question. The last question is The Korean Thanksgiving holiday is referred to as A. Sengil B. Chuso I almost screamed it out as well. C. Kimchi Day Kimchi Day? I don't know what that is. <laughs> Beun tang. is a is a soup, right? Yeah. Okay. Well, um, it's it's beet soup, right? Yeah. Okay, I knew that. I knew that. Well, that's in September, isn't it? Yeah. So I do know what it is. Yeah, I, I actually I actually do know what this is. I do, I do, I really do. Yeah. I, I I do. Okay. Okay. So guys, that was the quiz on how Korean I actually am. I got three questions wrong, two because I didn't know, one because I'm stupid, which means I have to eat three Bultak Bokumyeon. I will show you guys how I eat that in my next video, so keep an eye out for that. If you have any suggestions for other videos or videos you want me to make, you can leave them down there as well. And of course, I gotta give a special shout out to the person who helped me out today. It would be great if you guys subscribed if you haven't already, and yeah, I hope to see you guys all next time. Annyeong!